in a world full of options, could this be the best everyday camera bag of all time? If you're an outdoor enthusiast, look no further than Watershed's Largo Tote. Designed as a dry bag, the Largo Tote comes standard with Watershed's airtight zip dry closure. This zip dry closure has been pressure tested and submerged to up to 300 feet without leakage. Over the better part of the last 10 years, I've replaced practically all of my camera and kayaking equipment except for my Largo Tote. Watershed has made a bag that will withstand the test of time. Made from a ripstop Cordura fabric that is then coated in polyurethane, this bag is never going to fade, crack, or lose its flexibility. The real magic, though, is found in the way that Watershed has assembled this bag. Instead of having traditional stitching that goes all the way through the layers, what they've done instead is made outer layers that connect buckles and straps to the bag, but the way that they connect them is using a seamless system by welding these outer layers to the bag using high pressure and radio waves. So that means that there's just less places for the bag to fail over time. There's a certain level of peace of mind that comes with knowing that you've, you've got a piece of equipment that works. You don't have to worry about it. And I've had some crazy experiences, whether it's swimming out of a kayak and being totally submerged with my bag or being covered in mud, portaging around a rapid, whatever the case may be, I rinse the bag off, I get it clean, and then I'm ready to go again, knowing that my camera gear inside is completely good to go. Yes, I did admit to swimming. <laughs> if you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. At this point, I think you're already sold on the idea of owning a watershed dry bag, but what makes the Largo Tote the best everyday camera bag of all time? In my opinion, it's the capacity of the bag, it's the footprint of the bag, and its functionality. The capacity rolled, like it is here beside me, is 19 and a half liters, which means there's plenty of room for equipment. 19 and a half liters means that you can have a full frame mirrorless camera, three lenses, two extra batteries, a drone, three extra batteries for the drone, a controller, a phone so you can use your controller, uh, a towel to keep your hands dry, a first aid kit because you always need one, and snacks. There's plenty of room for snacks still and that's amazing. The biggest point for me, the biggest plus point for this bag is its footprint. So side to side, the bag is only six inches wide. Front to back, it's 14 and a half inches long. And then top to bottom, it's 12 and a half inches deep. So that's where most of the capacity comes from. So if we turn the bag sideways here, you'll notice that there's actually plenty of room side to side, especially if you put it inside of a freestyle kayak or a creek boat, there's still plenty of room for your legs. You're not uncomfortable. And this is awesome because as a whitewater kayaker and aspiring filmmaker, you need to have quick access to all of your equipment. And if you put it behind the seat, you're gonna be less likely to use it. So having this bag between your legs and having it quickly accessible makes it super easy to hop in and out of your kayak and decide that you want to shoot video that day. The other big thing for me comes from the length of the straps. This is the functionality portion of it for me. And I'm not the most graceful person in the world. My wife will tell you that. And so my ability to crawl around hands-free is a big one. And the length of these straps allows me to be able to take this bag, even with a PFD on, and wear it in a backpack-like fashion. And what's unique about that is when you're hiking around, when you're moving around in really slippery conditions, it's nice to have both hands and be able to climb around hands-free of a bag. The things that you are gonna probably need to purchase for this bag is either the photographer kit that goes with it, or you can do as I've done and purchase different items, which I'll link in the video description below, that help you make this bag more functional. I still believe that this is the best everyday camera bag of all time, and I would recommend it readily to anyone, and that's the reason why I did. If you did enjoy this video, please consider liking it. If it was helpful to you in any way, please leave a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so, and we'll see you next week. All right, don't tell me you didn't think we were going kayaking. We are, but I gotta put you in the bag so we can take you downstream. Here we go.
far now I dwell in the sand like a fish on land Like a fish on land Take it too far now. 